Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today, on Logan Square and Westtown Homes Live, I'm going to share a report with you entitled "Do's and Don'ts of Home Buyer Incentives." Now, uh, home buyer incentives can be smart marketing or a waste of money. Find out when and how to use them. Uh, this article is uh, provided by House Logic, which is made possible by realtors. But before we get into it, I got a freebie. I got a gift for you. It's called Market Snapshots. It'll take about 30 seconds just to tell you what it's all about. So it's a free tool which will allow you to keep your finger on the pulse of real estate in any neighborhood you choose. How does it work? You get an email. Bam. You click the link. It brings you here. Here's the home screen. You've got some summary information over here on the right. If you click the bull's eye, you get to view the market snapshot. And you've got these houses, and they're color-coded according to their status. View for sale, for sale, sold, pending, expired, canceled. And as you can see, you can filter what is it is that you see. And over here on the right, you've got a list of homes, and you can sort them in a variety of different ways. Most recent, closest to target, highest to low, etc. If you want to drill down into a house, you just click it, and then it's highlighted over on the right, where you can view all of the pictures. And if you want property details, just drop that down, and you get things like flooring and room dimensions. If you have school-age children, you get school info, and you get neighborhood info, because after all, home is more than just the four walls that you live within. It also includes shops, restaurants, organizations, so you can drill down into a nearby amenity and it'll take you to Yelp where you get to see pictures and menus and you get the hours and uh, you get reviews so it's a fantastic tool and guess what the price is right it's absolutely free so uh, go ahead and sign up for market snapshot the link is in the show notes now back to the report do's and don'ts of home buyer incentives home buyer incentives can be smart marketing or a waste of money find out when and how to use them now be sure you're sending the right message to buyers when you throw in a home buyer incentive to encourage them to purchase your home. When you're selling your home, the idea of adding a sweetener to the transaction, whether it's a decorating allowance, a home warranty, or a big screen TV, can be a smart use of marketing funds. To ensure it's not a big waste, follow these do's and don'ts. Do use home buyer incentives to set your home apart from close competition. If all the sale properties in your neighborhood have the same patio, furnishing yours with a luxury patio set and stainless steel barbecue that stay with the buyers will make your home stand out. Do compensate for flaws with a home buyer incentive. If your kitchen sports outdated floral wallpaper, a $3,000 decorating allowance may help buyers cope. If your furnace is aging, a home warranty may remove the buyer's concern that they'll have to pay thousands of dollars to replace it right after the closing. Don't assume home buyer incentives are legal. Your state may ban home buyer incentives, or its laws may be maddeningly confusing about when the practice is legal and not. Check with your real estate agent and attorney before you offer a home buyer incentive. Don't think buyers won't see the motivation behind a home buyer incentive. Offering a home buyer incentive may make your um, your home seem will make you seem desperate. That is, uh, that may lead suspicious buyers to wonder what hidden flaws exist in your home that would force you to throw a freebie at them and get it sold. It could also lead buyers to factor in your apparent anxiety and make a lowball offer. Don't use a home buyer incentive to mask a too high price. A buyer may think your expensive home buyer incentive, like a high-end TV or a luxury car, is a gimmick to avoid lowering your sale price. Many top real estate agents will tell you to list your home at a more competitive price instead of offering a home buyer incentive. A property that's priced a hair below its true value will attract not only buyers, but also buyers' agents, who will be giddy to show their clients a home that's a good value and will sell quickly. If you're convinced a home buyer incentive will do the trick, choose one that adds value or neutralizes a flaw in your home. Addressing buyer concerns about your home will always be more effective than offering buyers an expensive toy. So uh, this report was written by GM Felisco, who's an attorney and award-winning writer who gritted her teeth and chose a huge price decrease over an incentive to sell a languishing property and is glad she did. A regular contributor to many national publications, including Bankrate.com, Realtor to Magazine, and the American Bar Association Journal. She specializes in real estate business, um, 
personal finance and legal topics. So, I hope you found value in that. If you'd like uh, your very own home snapshot or market snapshot, all you got to do is click the link that's in the show notes. The link you see on the screen, that link is live in the show notes, so go ahead and click it. You got nothing to lose. It's a fantastic tool. And, you know, if for any reason you want to unsubscribe, you can. But you know what? You won't because it's awesome. So if you had any questions about real estate, call me, Doug Perry, at 312-572-9801 or email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com. I look forward to speaking with you. I look forward to meeting you even more.